Hi friends, welcome to Ashley DIY. Uh, in this video, we will learn how to make this cute, wonderful uh, ring earrings. So, very pretty, colorful earrings. You can use any kind of beads for this uh, earrings. I'm using this multicolor acrylic beads because it has a bigger hole. We need something for this project a bigger hole than what we have. Um, I mean a seed bead a six odd seed bead or something like which has a, a hole which is big enough to work with us that's what we need for this project so I am going to use these colorful beads as you can see the hole is bigger I hope the camera picks it up so the hole is bigger right here so that's what I am. Go uh, that's what we need, basically. The uh, some beads which has bigger hole. You can use any size beads you want. I think this is six by three millimeter flat bicone kind of a thing. Um, but you can use um, any beads which has a bigger hole. And then for wire wise, I'm going to use a twenty gauge dead soft wire. Uh, you can use any kind of um, soft wire uh, or um, aluminium wire you can use any kind of wire i'm using aluminium wire and it's very soft so i'm going to use about um, 35 centimeters or about um, 17 inches i would say 17 to 18 inches of wire so we need two lengths of the wire for one earring. If you use a soft wire, then it's this project will become much easier. So then I'm going to straighten the wire with my nylon jaw pliers. Then I'm going to use this uh, mandrel bail making pliers and wire cutters and uh, nylon jaw pliers and round nose pliers and um, needle nose or tweezer nose pliers. You can either use the round nose pliers or the bail making pliers. It's totally up to you. Take just one wire and bring it into the middle. Take your pliers. As you can see, I have a loop which is big enough. So I'm just going to take my pliers and put it in this. I think this is a six or eight millimeter. I'm not so sure, um, but um, I'm just going to put it around it and then make a full loop kind of and make it into completely crossing so this is my loop over here I'm checking if I made the same here I guess so so that's going to be one and then I'm gonna take my tweezer nose pliers and I'm gonna bend this wire right at where it's intersecting um, I'm not putting a lot of pressure because I'm working with aluminium wire which is way too flexible and it's 20 gauge so um, this is what you have so far if you want you can go ahead and then reposition it on top of your pliers and kind of make it into a round And then take it off and then what I'm going to do is just going to follow the pattern that I have here so first I have a clear and a purple and pink a red green an orange and a low then this blue I think yeah this blue and this blue and then a crystal purple pink red 
Ruby and orange. Okay. And then we need ear wires. So this is one. So I'm just going to add one of the first bead onto the onto both the wires. See, that's why we need a a bead which is big enough to hold two 20 gauge uh, wire um, inside it at the same time. So I'll keep that down and I'm going to take the other wire. I'm going to do the same thing. Make it into half and then take my pliers. This time I'm not going to use this mandrel. I'm going to use a thinner one because we don't need that much. So I'm just going to use a thinner one um, over here and then I'm going to crisscross the wire and all the way over here and I'm going to take it off from my mandrel you can also use round nose pliers it's not a problem and then I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to straighten the wire where it is intersecting there we go we have something like this so what I'm going to do is just going to put this inside this just like that and bring it like that okay so you can also do it like this so I just put the second wire on top of the first wire and I want it to come so let me just do this first then it will be easier for you guys so what you are going to do is take the wires and spread it apart after the bead okay this is the initial wire now we have the loop without the bead so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to put it on top of this just expand it a little bit and put it on top of this and then come back around and make the loop sit on top of the bead it'll be a little bit tough there we go so now we have this and then this is what we want now these two wires are straight now add other bead to these two wires and then make this wire apart like push it to the side now the top two wires I want to bring the top two wires in the front just like that so now you must have had the idea of where I am going so here and I'm going all the way and crisscrossing the bead completely encompassing the bead and making it straight there we go so the loop will automatically form around the bead this is what we have so far now let's add the bead to these two wires and then make it all the way close to the wire and then spread this wire apart just like that on both sides now take the top wire and bring it down around the bead and then pinch it and make these two straight now I shall take the next bead and put it on both the wires and make this as tight as possible and then spread the wire 
bring this wire in the front and this wire in the front and pinch it with uh, around the bead Next bead, load it to both the wires and then push it all the way to our work and then separate the wires on either side. Now just make sure it's nice and tight. Now bring the top wire in the front both the top wires and then pinch it around the bead make it straight now the next one you can use any beads like six or seed beads will also work perfectly with this um, and beads with bigger hole works perfectly well Acrylic beads normally plastic beads and acrylic beads have bigger holes than than uh, glass beads and gemstones. Even you can try with crystals, but they have a one millimeter hole, I guess, and it's 0 0.8 millimeter for 20 gauge wire, so it's a little tough, but you can try. Now the next bead, push it all the way across and then separate these wires. Now I'm going to bring the top wire on the front, both the top wires and then pinch it with my fingers. I'm going to finish doing all this and I'll see you guys. I have done this video a couple of times and then I lost the footage. Uh, that I recorded so I'm just uh, recording one more time and here it is I'm almost at the end of the uh, wire and I have two more beads to add to so I'm adding that and then pushing out the wire taking the top wire coming in the front just like that and then I'm pinching the wire with my fingers and I'm gonna add the last bead that I have so you can basically substitute any bead with a bigger hole and if you substitute the wire thinner wire then you can use um, any bead you want then open this up bring back the top wire in the front just like that and then once more pinch it so here we go that's ours um, so it's actually almost done now take a cylindrical object and try to bend this uh, earring into a round shape any object would do it's a little bit big but you can start getting the form and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna these two wires are on the side the ones that is on the straight i'm just going to put those two wires inside the loop that we have right here the bigger loop that we formed all the way here and then i'm gonna take my pliers and lift this loop upwards so that it's like this it's not more kind of round but still this will do and um, now we shall forget about these two wires for a bit and then crisscross this wire just like that and then i'm gonna wrap this wire onto this loop so one of the wire i'm going to put it on this side and 
make sure your wraps are consistent and one more time use your pliers if you need to just be patient because it's aluminium wire if you work it a lot then it will break so and one more and then if you're okay with two wraps that's also totally fine you don't have to do three There we go when you're happy with your wraps all you need to do is snip off the excess wire and tuck in the tail now we shall do the same this side and forget about the bottom wire just going to go once twice and use your pliers to kind of get the loop together and then one more time the loop snip it off and tuck the tail there we go now these two wires taking this and wrapping on top of the wire form that we made once and twice Snip off the wire in the back and tuck it in. Do the same but this side once and twice. Snip off the excess wire and then tuck the tail in. Now you can go ahead and make it into a round form all you need to do is add your ear wire to it and that's about it it's done so ear wire to the top of the loop and your earrings are done these are colorful earrings very pretty to go i made one more so i can use this as a pendant so i hope you guys like this video if you do give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit the bell icon for notification i do upload videos um a couple of times a week almost every day um i try to and then it's uh, scheduled for 5 pm pacific standard time thank you so much for watching leave me your comments below i would love to hear from you guys